what is up guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you a drift build of the Lincoln Continental in Forza Motorsport 4. But before I get into it, did you guys see that freaking reverse entry tandem at the beginning of the video? I mean, oh my god, that is the craziest tandem I've ever done in Forza 4. Uh, and I've only been working on my reverse entries for the past, I don't know, a couple of weeks or so. And... Uh, one of my friends that I drift with a lot, uh, Sonic14, you might have seen him in some of my lobbies, um, he's one of the club co-leaders, we were just like, let's try a reverse entry tandem, and we literally got that on the first attempt, the first attempt, we literally, we just went, we took our cars, we were like, we're going to try this, we're going to see what, see if we can even, uh, you know, attempt to do it, and we just did it, and it was, it was crazy, we were like, I mean, after that thing was over, we were just like, you recorded that, right? Like, <laughs> he was just like, you did record that, right? And I was like, fortunately, yes, I did record that. I mean, if I didn't record that, I would have been, I would have been so mad because that's like one of the best clips I've ever gotten. So I was really, really happy with that. Now, on to the build. Was I happy with this build or not? Um... Well, it's interesting. Uh, the car is very, very big. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the Cadillac Eldorado drift build that I did recently because, like I said, it's so big and so long and so wide. Uh, I haven't even tried tandeming in this thing, but I imagine it would be extremely difficult. Like, I imagine that this thing would be one of the hardest things ever to tandem in. I mean, it's pushing out over uh, 600 horsepower, and I believe the torque figure is even higher. Even the funny thing is, I think that um, I believe that this engine uh, had more torque than horsepower even after I cammed it, which is actually pretty rare. It's a pretty rare thing. But then again, uh, I guess cars from this time period had more torquey engines. Now you can see as I enter this first corner on the second lap and get a ton more points in the first lap. The key to drifting this car isn't power drifting, it's momentum drifting. If you can get this car's momentum up, then it will slide for days. This thing will go sideways for days if you, uh, if you get its momentum up. You just you know, need to pull that handbrake a couple of times, but still, you get this thing's momentum going, and uh, it will be a beast, pretty much. That's what this thing is. It's, it's a beast in every sense of that word. It is big. It, it's just a long car, big car, and it's really fun to use. So if you guys enjoyed that video, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comment section below what you thought of it. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I will talk to you guys later.